What is up guys, Chu here, bringing you another review on Baruto. This episode wasn't as exciting as the last couple episodes we've gotten, but it still maintained its course on focusing on something much more serious than what we've gotten in the last, I guess, filler episodes. And it was actually kind of enjoyable to see, especially to see how serious uh, Sarada and Baruto were in this episode. I want to say Mitsuki was also uh, interesting, but he didn't really do much other than literally be support for Sada and Baruto, even being a little creeper in this episode. But overall, it wasn't bad. I, I, I found it kind of enjoyable, especially how we saw how they were able to take down uh, Medie, if I'm pronouncing that right, who honestly... I wasn't expecting much out of, considering she's just grown up. I mean, we, we pretty much last saw her in Naruto Shippuden just being a, a young girl, a little girl, really. So it was it was kind of cool, but it was it was an interesting way how the way that Shino decided to divide the three man group. I thought, um, especially. Well, it wasn't, I wouldn't say interesting. It was pretty predictable, especially with, um, you know, Ina Chikajo being the one thing that was going to be guaranteed. But I was surprised to see, especially with Sumire and Denki, how their person, like how their clothes change and how they're more serious. I did like the pairing, though, with Denki, Iwabe, and Metal working together. Though I was kind of surprised that they didn't do what they've done in the past just having like one girl and two guys which was probably the most common thing I guess that was I don't think it was forced to have it that way but I was kind of surprised that there wasn't that kind of squad other than you know Inashika Joe and Baruto squad and I think the numbering was also interesting to have like team 3 team 25 and just random numbers really and have Baruto be, I believe it was uh, Team uh, Team Three, if I wasn't mistaken. But it was it was one of those things that you just kind of felt weird. And I will say that them trying to recreate the the one thing that they could never do, which was when Bar when uh, Naruto kissed Sasuke by accident because someone knocked him. And we saw that Iwabe was do, try, was accidentally doing that with Baruto and Sarada. Which it really led me to to believe that it was going to happen. That we were going to have a baruto Sarada moment where they were going to kiss each other. But it was it looked that it was going to happen. But in the end, it was nothing more than just a control. We saw how Sarada out of nowhere basically puts her foot in his face. Like, I don't know when she had that kind of reaction time considering how close they were but it kind of sucked but you know you can't take that away from the originals you can't have you know your kids try to recreate the moment that you know was like one of the ultimate trolls of all time so it was it was kind of funny that they try to do that and then troll us but I want to say that even though Baruto and Sarada did not want to work each with each other, they tried to go and repeal it and had to go through the Hokage to do it. It was interesting that they they didn't want to work together, but in the end they had to. And they said of themselves that they didn't they were trying too hard because at first they they make a truce, you know, and then they have to go face Mide who was well, the one in charge of being, I guess, the, uh, I guess the outlook or the watch out there to make sure no one got close to Naruto, who was on business. Who, by the way, I, I want to say good for Naruto in this episode. Honestly, seeing him train other people just to kind of understand the, the threat of war or, uh, like, of anything possibly happening in this episode and the future could could come at any time and so him training these people was i think important and i think it's also significant to see especially what in the upcoming arc that we already know that's coming i thought it was really cool to have naruto really 
do something with everyone else just to keep his strength and everyone else's kind of going but even though like i said the side of them bar they didn't want to work together and they realized they were focusing too much on each other instead of what they were good at it, it because of mitsuki pointing it out it was really it was nice teamwork really and in the end it was something they both realized and instead of trying to disband the the, the group or the team it is decided to go directly to naruto and say that they want to be the new team seven which i thought kind of sucks because you can't be a new team seven but i know that this these three can be stronger than the previous but that's pretty much it for me guys i enjoyed the episode sort of it wasn't bad but guys tell me what you guys think and leave me any comments below and as always stay safe and i'll catch you later